motion of the solar system. For as we now know, the Sun does not orbit the Earth. To finish our critique, we will briefly examine whether the claim of scientism is self-refuting. Proponents of scientism claim that knowledge of the world can only be discovered through the operation of science. However, this very claim asserts a truth about the world, namely, that it is structured in such a way that only science can provide us with knowledge of it. But this truth was not obtained via the scientific method. So how can one maintain the truth of the claim without at the same time contradicting or refuting themselves? So to conclude, while science is an indispensable tool in our pursuit of knowledge concerning the natural world, the claim made by the proponents of scientism seems untenable. Science must accept as true certain principles about the structure of nature prior to undertaking any scientific investigation. And these principles, or the presuppositions of science, are themselves not discovered utilizing the methods of science. Furthermore, by asserting that only science can provide us with knowledge of the world, scientism puts forth a claim that is itself not derived from the operation of science, and therefore puts forth a self-refuting claim. Now I want to conclude my discussion of